Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, 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 Bahasham, Rakakwadash, Kahalayam La, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash, all praises to our power, Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, in the ancient Hebrew, which means He to be. He is, he exists. Bahashum means in the name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son of Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His real name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh Shah, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior, he is salvation for the nation of Israel only. Bahashum Rakakwadash in the name of the Holy Spirit which inspires us. Double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles and elder bishops with great millstones still well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom to the elect of Israel. The truth of the Bible is only for the elect, not all of our people right now. Okay? IUIC ain't right. These men are compromised these men have sold out now there may be members of the elect among the IUIC but collectively these men are Judas goats these men do not have the spirit they do not have the spirit beginning with their leader Bishop Nathaniel okay IUIC are false prophets, man. Okay? And this is the proof right here. Because what kind of man of the Lord would make a statement such as this? All right? And this is what the Bishop Nathaniel said. The way you dress determines what God you serve. What type of worldly you know what type of spirit is this man this is a worldly statement IUIC they're in the world they're not in the truth now they may teach you certain things that are right they'll teach you that you're Israel they'll teach you the law statutes, and commandments but they leave out the most important things which Yahweh Shah spoke on that you know dealing with the wicked scribes and Pharisees, you know, you leave out mercy, judgment, truth, you know, faith. What about that? You negate the important things, but you know, you're all big on what doesn't matter, such as your outward appearance, you know, you boast in the flesh, we boast in the spirit. The way you dress determines what God you serve. This shows you that the IUIC are waxing worse. Okay? They're waxing worse, man. That's a worldly ass statement. All right? The Lord ain't dealing with IUIC, man. Okay? First and foremost, you guys neglect to profess the name Yahweh, the name Yahweh Shah. You call the Heavenly Father. And his son, Most High in Christ, or God in Christ, those are not their names. You know, the Heavenly Father does not acknowledge that. All right? He doesn't acknowledge that. When you say God in Christ, who the hell is that? You know? You say we shouldn't speak on Esau. You know, y'all was getting on Israel about that, saying that Israel shouldn't speak so much about the so-called white man which you know the so-called white man Esau Edom he's the root of all the problems on the earth and then it tells you in Ezekiel the 35th chapter to uh, prophesy against Mount Seir so you guys are going the opposite direction of what the scriptures say you make it about yourself you're not making it about the heavenly father and his son you're all about you 
You know, your God is your belly. You know, you all about what you want to do. Okay. IUIC are false prophets and Lord ain't dealing with y'all, man. Okay. Beginning with your leader, Elder Bishop Nathaniel. The Lord not dealing with this guy. And the fact that the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, are not in his mouth, that's all the proof that you need that the Lord ain't dealing with these, these uh, guys, man. Beginning with him. But um, let's get some scriptures to cut this madness. The way you dress determines what God you serve. So because we don't dress all fancy, we don't have, you know, excellent garments, that means the Lord ain't dealing with us? Just because you got you know good clothing that doesn't mean that the holy spirit is upon you so your outward appearance is is flashy it's good hey man uh jay can put together um jay can put together an outfit you know you know you got the uh the color coordination going on color schemes jake knows how to match right you know you can hook up an outfit but but your spirit ain't hooked up you know you're detached from the holy spirit man Like you got some damn, uh, you know, gator skin on your garment or whatever the hell that is. I don't know. You got a purple gator skin garment or whatever the hell, you know. That doesn't mean that the Lord dealing with you though. The way you dress determines what God you serve. All right. So since we dress like bums, right? That means the Lord ain't dealing with us. Let's get the scriptures on it. Real quick. This is what Yahweh Shah said. These words in red. St. John chapter 7, verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Right. Because the Lord goes by the spirit. The spirit of a man. What is your inward like? Because that's really you. All right. Who is that man inside your head? What is that spirit looking like? As opposed to your flesh. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So the Lord didn't make that statement that Nate made. The way you dress determines what God you serve. Yeah, how was I cut that? You know? He said, don't judge by the appearance. Hey, the Lord said you could be full of dead men's bones. He said that to the wicked scribes and Pharisees, you know, that's in the, uh, what, what's that, Matthew 23? Real quick. And this whole chapter, he was cutting them, man. Yeah, this is what Yahweh Shah said. Matthew chapter 23, verse 27. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which a uh, sepulchre is a tomb. Because you guys are dead, man. You're, you're spiritually dead. But you look good, right? <laughs> Jake Flashy. You look good, but, but really you're dead, man. In the spirit. Which indeed appear beautiful outward. <laughs> the way you dress. But are within full of dead men's bones. And of all uncleanness. And basically, you keeping Jake in that dead state of mind, bro. You know? IUIC are full of dead men's bones. But on the outside, y'all look good. Got the, uh, you know, the beautiful original royalty garments. Purple and gold. Right? But, but you know, your spirit ain't right, man. Verse 28. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity there you have it 
Our Lord said that. Hey, um, what about John the Baptist? Now, John the Baptist, he was a man of the Lord. But uh, did the way he dressed determine what God he served? Hey, um, you know, John the Baptist, man, he, he dressed pretty rough. Let's get that real quick. All right, uh, Matthew chapter 3, verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea. With John the Baptist, he was the forerunner, you know, for Yahushai. He prepared the way for Yahushai. Our people, they saw John the Baptist before they seen the Lord, you know, because he was pretty much introducing the Lord, preparing his way. Verse 2. So he was preaching in the wilderness, or he was prophesying in the wilderness and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He was saying that to Israelites. Verse 3. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Esaias, or Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, in the desert, prepare ye the way of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, make his path straight. And the same John had his raiment or clothing of camel's hair. So he had a garment made out of camel's hair. He had a rough garment. It wasn't a beautiful garment, you know? And a leathern girdle about his loins. So he had a leather belt around his waist. And his meat, and his meat was locusts and wild honey, meaning his food, the food that he ate was locusts and wild honey, you know? You got like, you know, uh, crickets, grasshoppers, or actual locusts. So he ate that and wild honey, you know? So uh, John the Baptist, he was on the edge, man. He was a rough man. He was a hard man. He didn't have a beautiful garment. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shah said, what were ye out to see when you saw John? The Baptist. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. I'm gonna get this first. Let me get this real quick. This is um Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Second Corinthians eleven. We can start at verse thirteen. 2 Corinthians 11 and 13. For such are false apostles, IUIC, you know, and you other groups that go off like that, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Hamashiach, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, if his servants, also be transformed into the, as the ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works because they think that they can keep doing that stuff man and not have to answer for it but we'll see we'll see because the Lord ain't playing man alright this is Matthew chapter 11 Matthew chapter 11 verse 7 And as they departed, Yahweh Shah began to say unto the multitudes concerning John Concerning John the Baptist What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. So we read how John the Baptist dressed. He dressed rough. You know? It wasn't flashy, man. Because see, Jake is all about gimmicks. Jake is all about how you look. 
But it ain't about that. The Lord dealing with the spirit. You know? So brothers here at Great Millstone, we're not dressed all, you know, flamboyant and flashy and, you know, lights, camera, action ready. Nah, we dress normal. You know? Now certain brothers, you know, they, they do their thing. You know what I'm saying? JB having the, you know, the nice clothes or whatever, you know. Even certain brothers got decent garments, but collectively, we we're normal. You know? But see, you know, with uh IUIC, it's all polished, it's all uniform, everybody wearing the purple and gold. But see, the Lord dealing with the spirit, man. Hey, dealing with John the Baptist. John the Baptist dressed rough. He wasn't wearing, you know, king's clothing. You know? The Lord making a point right here. And John the Baptist, which is Elijah the prophet, he was the greatest prophet that ever lived. You know? Verse 9, but what went ye out for to see a prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. And that's what he did. You know? Right. And, and that's the point. That's the point. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 1 wisdom lifteth up the head of him that is of low degree and maketh him to sit among great men right and you know this truth is all about the Lord's elect you know being risen up being gathered you know commend not a man for his beauty neither abhor a man for his outward appearance and that's what IUIC doing and that's why they call us bum camps you know faith-based Israelites they make fun of us conspiracy nuts whatever they want to say you can say what you want but guess what if the Lord dealing with us which he is you guys gonna be ashamed man so you don't praise a man for his beauty you know this some bullshit right here this is some bullshit the way you dress determines what God you serve and hey you guys serve Satan man cause uh God in Christ that was given to you by Esau Edom. You know? That 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 so-called white God, you know, and that so-called white Jesus. The way you dress determines what God you serve. That's not scriptural. This this is wickedness, man. Commend not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. There it is. You know? So you don't hate us or treat us, you know, like the Lord ain't dealing with us simply because we don't dress flashy. The bee is little among such as fly, but her fruit is the chief of sweet things. It says... Verse 4. It just disappeared. There we go. Ecclesiastes 11 and 4. Boast not of thy clothing and raiment, and exalt not thyself in the day of honor. For the works of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, are wonderful, and his works among men are hidden. Right. Because you can look good on the outward, but the Lord don't, he's not dealing with you. But the man that doesn't look good on the outward, the Lord be dealing with him. You see? It's hidden. The, the works of the Lord are hidden. You know, and he hides his secrets among the elect. Okay? The, the, uh, the underrated, the underdogs, men that you wouldn't think he's dealing with, that's who he's dealing with. That's how he gets down, man. And the Lord also deals with small numbers. Okay? James chapter 3 verse 1 my brethren be not you know what this isn't it hold on I think it's 2 yeah James chapter 2 verse 1 my brethren have not the faith of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach the Lord of glory with respect of persons because the Lord doesn't have respect of persons 
just because you dress good, that mean the Lord dealing with you more than he dealing with other men? You tripping. They're just like when HODC went to the land of Israel, they were saying, unless you go to the land of Israel, the Lord ain't dealing with you. And those guys go off on almost all their breakdowns. You know? For if there come unto your assembly, unto your gathering, a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment and, and bummy clothes, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, the good looking clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, The man is not dressed as nice, stand thou here, or sit here under my footstool. So basically, you treat him like dirt because he's not dressed as good. Are you not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? That's IUIC. Hearken, listen, my beloved brethren. The house of David have not the heavenly father chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him yeah but ye have despised the poor I you I see do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats because basically you guys in league with Esau Edom do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which you are called and we're called Israelites you know, but you guys in league with the devil, man. You know? If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scriptures, or according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. Which, you know, to the best of our ability, that's what we do. To the best of our ability, you know? Because we balance everything out. Even with these other camps, we'll tell them when they do good. And we'll tell them when they do wrong. But at the end of the day, you know, we see, okay, this is an Israelite thing. But the Lord is only dealing with the elect. So we balance it out, you know. But we understand there's members of the elect among these other groups, you know. This is why scripture speak about following peace with all men. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. Verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. And that's a cut on you guys because you guys are all about the commandments. But what about guys in your assembly that have bald heads, they have dreadlocks, you know? We can go on and on. You know, you guys get lineups, you go to the barbershop, you know? But because you got fringes in the border of blue, and you act as if you keep all the law, statutes, and commandments. You don't, bro. We need Yahweh Shai, whom you call Christ. His real name, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Hey, and you loving your fellow Israelite brother that believe in the truth as yourself, and you believing in the name Yahweh Shai, you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those are the top commandments. You love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with all your heart, soul, and mind. With all your might And you love your Israelite brother As yourself All the law hangs on that Okay Which Let me get that scripture Because believing in the name Yahweh Shai That's a commandment Alright Now I'm a little bit all over the place Excuse me But I just want to prove this point man Because uh, IUIC they're all about the law what about this though? Okay, just give me a second. It's been a while since I read the scripture. Let's see. Just give me a second, Bible Kasha. It's basically says it's a commandment to believe on the name of the Son. All right. 1 John chapter 3 Beginning at 22 And whatsoever we ask We receive of him Because we keep his commandments And do those things that are pleasing in his sight So we keep the commandments to the best of our ability Pursuant to Judges 5 and 11 We rehearse the righteous acts And this is his commandment this, this, the, the top commandment The Lord gave us That we should believe on the name of his son Yahweh Shai Hamashiach Not Jesus 
His name is Yahweh Shai. And we say Hamashiach, which means the anointed. We don't say Christ. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And you guys really don't love Israel because you wouldn't push out that madness, man. You know, you teaching Israel things to make them a curse to the Most High. Those false doctrines. And another thing, too, you guys don't speak on the MOTB. You don't speak on, on the uh, Karagma. So you're going to have Israelites lining up to get that chip because y'all not telling them what that thing is, man. You don't push the name Yahweh Shai. You don't push Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you don't push what the mark of this beast system is. And, and those are very important things when it comes to the truth. And it gets worse and worse with you guys, man. You know, you got this right here. You acting like the Lord dealing with you because you dress nice. Once again, got a damn gator skin garment. You know? That's off, man. You got this madness, man. You doing things, you know, comparing yourself. I mean, I don't know what the hell you guys doing, man. But you got that Renaissance art at the bottom. I think it's called the finger of God. You know, you got Adam supposed to be touching. Well, who's supposed to be Adam? You know, these are Edomites. We got the Renaissance art. Is you know, Edomite Adam. You know, touching uh, what's supposed to be God's finger. You know, got a Edomite God. You know. With Edomite, you know, with naked Edomites, it's just some madness. But then look at this. It, you know, you guys tripping, man. And you may say, well, where, where did we go off at? But you guys, you're doing too much. In the spirit, you're doing too much, man. But this is fleshly. Like, this is, it's, it's, it's off, man. Fix your doctrine. Hey, in, in the flesh, in the flesh, you looking good, you know? This is good, the outward appearance. This this the outward. But your doctrine way off, man. And once again, the Lord name ain't Christ, man. But things like this, you know what they do? They, they bring a lot of members. They bring a lot of money, all right? Because Jake want to be a part of something, you know? They, they see your movement. They, they see uh, you got the nice clothes. You got a lot of women that follow you. But see, the Lord ain't dealing with this, man. You know? Cut that shit out, man. And I, I pray and hope this is edifying. Hey, man. The spirit you have about Shemiah was shy dealing with the prophets. Lord dealing with the prophets, man. And this shit right here is off. Bishop Nathaniel, you off, man. And you need to repent or the Lord going to do something to you and your congregation, man. Cut this shit out, man. Shalom.